So, welcome, welcome back to Beaverbrook and uh, exciting today because uh, after 5606's departure, uh, we're, we're going to witness uh, the replacement 582, uh, next Wisconsin Central SDL39, a lightweight unit, specifically built really for, um, for use on, on branch lines and uh, having had a second, a second life on Prince Edward Island uh, with Terra Transport, it's, uh, it's now with us here uh, with HMLX. Um, perfect for the sort of down at heel and, and slightly tired track work, uh, which is found on quite a lot of our uh, properties. So we're, we're joining the crew, um, I suppose, the second shift of uh, this particular operation. And they, uh, the last crew didn't quite finish, uh, finish the job and uh, ran out of hours. So uh, they, uh, they parked 582 up down here on Beaverbrook. And this crew's uh, come down just to, uh, to finish off uh, switching the, uh, the cement spur. So it's a case of, uh, of clearing out um, an empty box car that's uh, that's in the spur at the minute, um, which you're going to see, and uh, and then placing loaded cement cars, um, and it's going to be quite exciting today because there's there's always a bit of a, a struggle um, with uh, with getting in and out of this this siding. It's it's not level. It's deceptive. There's a there's a bit of a grade um, to uh, to get in. Of course, we've got to contend with that uh, that really quite sharp curve across uh, across the road as well.
Now, well, of course, things are never quite as easy as we'd like, and um, the uh, the last crew didn't uh, arrange these uh, these cars quite as nicely as we'd have liked. So we've actually got to shift the empty um, uh, covered hopper uh, out of the way as well. This uh, this was an empty from the co-op feed mill. Um, I'm going to need that out of the way to uh, to get at the uh, at the loaded cement hoppers. And, uh, if we don't get this one out of the way, that isn't well. That there's room, but it just uh, it causes uh, a, a bit more disruption down uh, down at uh, Wellington Road, where uh, where the grade crossing is. So, with uh, with that cleared, we're we're good to go on the uh, on the cement hoppers. Um, it'll be interesting to see just how the SDL 39 gets on. Um, you know how light footed it is and, and how it copes, uh, as I say, with uh, with the grades and the uh, the curvature.
So uh, there we go. That's that's the job done. The crew uh, really just uh, just collect those empties and and head for home. Um, it's always wonderful to spend a little bit of time down here uh, on on this little almost street running section uh, of, of trackage in, uh, in New Brunswick downtown Moncton. Um, I, I wish I could get here more often. Uh, I do hope uh, you've, you've enjoyed watching today. Um, it's always a pleasure to, uh, to share some of this, uh, this footage with you all. So, I guess it goes without saying that, uh, that Beaverbrook is my HO scale shelf layout uh, and takes up just just about eight feet of my uh, my workshop wall. There's no fiddlesticks. What you see here is all there is: two turnouts and uh, and thirty to forty minutes of, uh, of of gentle, mindful operation. And I always love sharing this this layout with you. Um, and hopefully, my passion for for modelling for the subject. Uh, and for creating this sort of stuff comes across in, uh, in, in what I do. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please do consider liking and subscribing. And uh, there's always something new on my website as well. So uh, if you've never visited, um, I, I update the blog every day. Uh, I try to, to keep stuff up there that, uh, that entertains. Thanks for watching.